हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज नास एंड आई वेलकम टू यू इन माय चैनल नास पाठशाला सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी एंड थ्रू दिस इंग्लिश स्टोरी यू विल लर्न टेंसेस वोकैबुलरी प्रोनाउंसिएशन एंड हाउ टू डू परफेक्ट रीडिंग सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट episode 13 tying the knot there were many changes in the marsh family during those 3 years as the war was over and mr marsh was finally home on one hand for a year john joined the army to earn and to make a home for mac he opened his own business on the other hand mac just worked and waited for the 3 years to get over but she also knew that she couldn't expect any drastic changes in her lifestyle even after marriage aunt march didn't like jo but she favored amy and gave her lessons in drawing jo looked after beth and also wrote for newspaper but thought of writing something different at times lori also joined college and made many friends bringing them home and thus he studied suffered lori's college friends liked amy better than jo and tried charming her all the time john and meg's first home was small but theirs own they arranged the house plainly with minimum furniture lots of flowers and books all the sister had helped her get her things boxes and bundles and set up her new home hana handled her kitchen setting Lori got a new thing for the house every week and Aunt March also gave her something in spite of being upset with Meg's decision. It was just one day for the wedding to take place and Lori was coming home for his visit. He stopped the March household and so Hana taking in the wedding cake. Hana told him that Mrs March and the girls had gone to Meg's new house. Dowcot a perfect name for the love birds in an instant lorry started walking towards meg's place on his way he met john who was going to get his marriage license when lorry reached home he presented meg with more gifts and everyone appreciated his thoughtful nature they seemed so happy talking about the addition to their family and the time passed quickly lorry announced that he had to leave and asked jo to come along with him jo accompanied accompanied him and while walking told him to behave himself during meg's wedding ceremony and lori promised her that jo still was upset she said romance is just momentary it is pointless to separate someone from family on those grounds i just hope no more marriages happen soon and what if you are the next one to get married asked lori jo was irritated jo you think someone would marry me you don't let anyone come close to you jo lori answered blushing forget it jo finished the talk here it was the day of the wedding meg looked beautiful in her simple yet elegant gown and ornaments made of lilies hours before this she was running about the place for preparation and she could see that her sisters would miss her so much and hugged them to assure them the ceremony started aunt march also attended the ceremony when the time to say i do had come john and meg said it kissed each other and then were a married couple everyone was overjoyed and cried to see meg going away from them except jo who was concise for watching if you like my videos please hit the bell icon for more updating videos like share comment and subscribe my channel nas parshala thank you take care and be safe at home